Steampunk Goggles, The Deck. Hi, Kickstarter. I'm Dennis Consorte. I founded a little agency called Consorte Marketing and opened up shop in Hoboken, New Jersey. This is how I make a living. These are employees. Well, except that guy in the lower left. He was an intern. His name's Tyler, and he decided to come to work in full armor on his last day. Tyler got 4,830 upvotes on Reddit for that fine suit of duct tape armor. People like him inspired me to learn more about cosplay. I'm pretty lame, and this is about as close to playing dress-up as you'll ever see me. That's my fiancé on the left. She forced me to do this. However, I did want to do something creative in this space, so I pulled the design and marketing teams together, and SteampunkGoggles.com was born. That's Arielle Dixon, a.k.a. Makeup Siren. She modeled for us. At SteampunkGoggles.com, we sell Steampunk Goggles. These goggles are made by some really cool people, and I got to form relationships with some of them. That's Debbie Rounds of Dream Design. She transforms ordinary welding goggles into works of art using leather, lace, and other adornments. Debbie's workshop is so cool. This is Makeup Siren modeling a pair of Debbie's goggles, shot by Fifth Ace Photography. You can find more pictures of her on our blog. That's Mac McGowan and his company is Steam Baby. He's also a leathersmith and he makes goggles out of brass. You might have seen his work around the neck of Adam Lambert on Glee not too long ago. This is Stacy Fay and Graham DeHuff and their company is On the Wings of Steam. They custom designed these Queen of Hearts goggles just for this project. Here's a different pair of goggles worn by Morgan Grimes and shot by horror fiction writer Bill Munster. They were designed by Hans Meyer and his company, PH Factor. Hans comes from a family of clockmakers and often uses timekeeping elements in his designs like the clock hands on the side of that light. I wanted to pay tribute to these people, so I decided to build a deck of playing cards where all the characters wear the actual goggles these artisans designed. I reached out to my network of artists and illustrators and found this guy. His name is Mike Lees, and he's an amazing artist in Brooklyn. I like this piece. I like his use of texture and the facial features and the balance between light and dark. This is what convinced me he was the right person for the job. I paired Mike with Janelle Sosa. She's really cool because she has a profile on IMDB. Besides being an accomplished performing artist, she's an avid steampunk and cosplay enthusiast. I gave Janelle an overview of my vision for the deck and she just made it so much cooler. Mike then got to work using her recommendations, my vision, and everyone's goggles. This is his workspace. The view kinda sucks, but the desk is cool. Maybe if this project gets funded, Mike will be able to afford a room with a better view. These were Mike's tools for the first phase of illustrating this deck. He sketched the initial artwork in pencil, created a font, and selected character colors to match each pair of goggles. These are some of the concepts. This one was my idea, a heart and a corset. Mike's sketch was way cooler than what I had in my head, and when he re-sketched the images onto Bristol paper and began adding color, holy shiznit. These are some of the colors he used. After creating pencil drawings, he glazed over them with acrylic ink using tiny brushes. And this is the result. He then combined the hand-drawn illustrations, letters, and indices in Photoshop, and repeated the process for each of the prototypes. There's still a lot of work to be done, such as finalizing how stylized the indices should be, and figuring out the subtle differences between the standard deck and the limited edition deck. Kickstarter, we need your support. Can you help us kickstart this project and build the Steampunk Goggles deck of playing cards? Thank you, Kickstarter.